here is the human brain, and there's a left side, and there's a right side. It turns out that the left side is responsible for the past. It's responsible for retrieval of information. How do we know this? Because when people lose part of their brain, they can't do this anymore. The right side is responsible for the future. It's responsible for the creation of new information. If I want to get someone to synthesize something, to understand something, by definition, that means they've never been taught it. If they had, they would already understand it. Which side of the brain do I want to access, do you think, if I want to get them to synthesize something new? The right side of the brain. I just did it with you. I told you the ingredients before, I'll tell you them again. You, have, you must have never been taught this. You must be able to figure out the answer. And there must be a right answer. I call this a leading question. And a leading question is one of the most powerful means to synthesis, and most presenters don't even do it. And if they do them, they do them wrong. They lead too much or not enough. Hey, do you think it's important to wear a coat outside in the winter? <laughs> Got to be kidding me. Stop asking me that, presenter. Hey, what do you think Na what NASA was thinking one, one minute before launch? I don't know. That led you too much and not enough. But if I say, which side of the brain do you think they're using? You all answered at the same time. Some of you in your heads, some of you out loud. Because I made you think. I made you get synthesis. If I want to remind you to go to the left side, what do you think I might say? Do you remember? Do you remember? He took the bait and got it right. Because it was another good what? Leading question. See how powerful those are? And even during the sleepiest of sleepy time, your audience can't resist them. <laughs> they can't resist them. Some of you guys right now, you, I've been teaching you for three hours, and I have bombarded you with practical after practical things that you can use in your, in your classrooms and audiences tomorrow, and yet you're still with me. And some of you are like, oh, Jason, stop it. Stop keeping me with you this much because it hurts my head. But I'm doing it. And I did it just there through a leading question.